tena Mheshimiwa Rais, naibu wa Rais, pika wetu wa Senate, governor wetu na viongozi wote na wakazi wa Kinango Pamjambu. Mureega. Mwadhani Agosho. Happy New Year. Juga Happy New Year sababu ndio eh, mutugo. Mwako kia jeriria kuga Happy New Year onarelea maudo marito heire ole marito heire family eno ya seneta wito medho mama mama wero na familia yako kwa niaba ya familia yangu na watu wa kikuyu na wabunge wengine wote ambao hawako hapa wabunge wa wabunge la kitaifa na senate ni seme pole sana na nipeane rambi rambi zetu zote kwa familia yenu na mama ametuambia kwa kon, uh, tribute yake kwa mzee ya kuwa huyu mzee was a glue that put the family together na pia medho amesema mama alimwambia ya kuwa mwenyezi Mungu atakuja ajaze pengo ambalo mzee ameacha and senator i want to confirm to you that what mom said is indeed true ya kuwa hata kama baba ameondoka ambaye alikuwa ni glue iliyoshikanisha familia yenu aliwezeshwa kufanya hayo yote na Mwenyezi Mungu na Mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe anajua sababu ya kumpumzisha mzee wakati alimpumzisha hasa ikiwa wakati wa siku kuu ya krismasi na wakati ambao familia nyingi zinakutana kusherehekea siku kuu the best we can do is to pray for you and your family that God will continue to console you as a family and give you strength to be able to forge on with life even in the absence of your dad the husband to your mom and a mentor as you have said to all of you as his children and other people in this community ya hapa Kinango kwa hivyo tuambie pole na tutaendelea kuwaombea na muishi mkiamini ya kuwa hilo pengo mzee ameacha mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe atalijaza na vile mama alikuelezea kiti alichokuwa akikalia mzee mwenyezi Mungu peke yake anajua venye amepanga na ataweza kuja akalie hicho kiti kwa nyumba yenu and we can only pray that you continue to be united as a family vile mzee alitaka and we are happy senator ya kuwa umesema vizuri ya kuwa mzee ameondoka lakini amewaacha nyinyi na amewaachia Mungu na najua kawaida kwa familia zetu and i say that because i'm also my dad's last born son na nimeona wewe pia ndiye kitinda mimba wa vijana wa mzee kawaida kijana kama waweru who is your first born huwa ako karibu sana na mama na kijana yule last born huwa ako karibu sana na mzee na nimeona ya kuwa ni ukweli pia wewe ulikuwa karibu sana na mzee kwa hivyo wewe ujue kama pia kiongozi uko na jukumu kubwa zaidi kwa hii familia kuishikilia na kuhakikisha ya kuwa mmeishi pamoja vile mzee angetaka muishi kwa hivyo poleni and may god bless you and rest the soul of mzee in eternal peace mheshimiwa rais viongozi wengi wameongea na mengi yamesemwa na sitaki kurudia yale yamesemwa na mheshimiwa rais aliyekuwa speaker wetu hapa nyandarwa Ma mheshimiwa wa Home aliongea juu ya kiwanda cha Midlands cha uh, potato processing. Na ni ukweli that industry together with the industries our governor ameongea juu yake na waziri wetu Rebecca Miano zenye zitakuja kwa uh, KIPS na the EPZ centers all those industries zitakuja kusaidia uchumi wa nchi yetu. Na hapa Nyandarwa vile senator Karongo alisema hasa hapa Kinangop mlijulikana sana kwa kilimo cha viazi. Na 
taithu ado ake abu na kiora igwa karongo ake muri ngai thero ado awaru tauga ka waru ciothe ni ciake na gov lakini your excellency iyo kazi ama ukulima wa viazi uko hatarini ya kuangamia sababu ya kuendelea kukatakata mashamba sana tukiendelea kukatakata mashamba sana watu kujenga hiyo industry ya midlands haitakuwa na kazi the kipes and aggregation centers and epzs that you are investing in will not be viable kama kilimo cha nyandarwa iwe ni kilimo cha maziwa ama viazi hatutakuwa na mashamba ya kufanyia hiyo kazi na ndio maana mheshimiwa rais ile mpango uko nayo ya housing is critical in ensuring that we do not continue to subdivide our land further than we have and i want to encourage your excellency because a lot has been said about the state of our economy but i stand here in the new year your excellency to assure the people of nyandarwa and the people of kenya that our economy is stable our economy is regaining its foothold courtesy of the good leadership your excellency that you have set out tumeona your excellency yale tumeambiwa takrimu zinatuonyesha not just our gdp growth at almost 5.9 heading to 6% inflation imeweza kudhibitiwa na umeona hata report za world bank zikitoaambia ya kuwa kenya is among the countries in the world that have been able to contain inflation na ndio maana mheshimiwa rais mimi sina wasiwasi nikisema na nikiambia wa Kenya ya kuwa umeweza kudhibiti uchumi wetu and the next thing is now the economic takeoff your excellency sina wasiwasi mimi nikisikia watu wakati wa christmas wakati wamekula vitu zingine wakisema wako tayari kurudi kwa maandamano na mimi naombea tu nikajiuliza walituambia last year wanaenda kwa maandamano sababu bei ya unga ilikuwa miambili sitini. leo bei ya unga iko nusu ya hiyo bei sasa utaambia watu unaenda kwa maandamano kuandamana nini kama bei ya unga imeteremka katasi of the subsidized fertilizer your excellency ulianzisha program yake katasi ya mvua yenye mwenyezi Mungu ametubariki nayo na ile mipango thabiti ya kuinua uchumi umetuwekea so want to encourage your excellency do not relent tumeambiwa your excellency our forefathers in the first dispensation of our country fought for independence and lost lives many people lost their lives in that fight for independence the second dispensation your excellency of our country was that of the second liberation which culminated in the enactment of a new constitution in 2010 and there are many heroes of that second liberation many who are still alive today and many who lost their lives and who have passed on ahead of us the third dispensation your excellency and that's why i agree with those like waziri who have said that you are rewriting the history of our country the third dispensation is a dispensation that you will lead as a president of the republic of kenya this time that is a dispensation of social and economic justice to all kenyans to ensure that there is fair distribution of our economic prosperity access universal health coverage that mze like our father here who has passed on ahead of us who we have read suffered from diabetes na amekuwa kitibiwa kwa kwa hospitali za serikali na za kibinafsi and i am certain amekuwa kilipa matibabu ya kutibiwa ugonjwa wa sukari and we have many kenyans wako na cancer na magonjwa mengine critical and chronic wenye wamekuwa wakirudi kwa mifuko wanauza mashamba sababu ya health cost in our country your excellency as a governor has said you have put in place a very good program under uhc 
that under the social health insurance fund sasa watu wataweza kutibiwa ugonjwa wa sukari ugonjwa wa saratani bila kulipishwa pesa zozote kwa hospitali zetu ukiwa tu wewe ni member wa NHIF or social health insurance fund lakini mheshimiwa rais vile tulivyoambiwa na viongozi wengine hapa those who do not want Kenyans to enjoy that shared and collective economic prosperity are sabotaging these programs they are sabotaging your housing program they are sabotaging that universal health coverage program and other government programs and your excellency allow me to speak to our judiciary as we bid farewell to mze michael and ask our judiciary not to allow our judicial officers to be used by the economic saboteurs those who want to sabotage that endeavor to ensure that we have collective economic prosperity let me ask our judicial officers not to allow themselves to be used by the cartels that are sabotaging the housing program the program to ensure that all Kenyans access universal health coverage wale ambao wako kotini mheshimiwa rais ni wale ambao wamekuwa kinufaika na uporaji wa pesa kutoka mpango wa NHIF ndio wameweka makesi kotini wale wengine unasikia wale ndini nyoro wameongea juu yao hapa the masters and architects of state capture wale ambao walidhani ya kuwa wa Kenya wataishi milele na milele kama slaves wao na familia zao they are the ones today who are pushing the sabotage of the housing agenda and your excellency i said the other day and they sent all their social media teams to descend on me but i want to tell them today your excellency mimi aguna mtu wa kunitukana kwa social media anaweza fanya nikose kukwambia ukweli if through state capture wewe ulifanya a chinese contractor ajenge nyumba 2000 zaidi ya 2000 affordable housing on private land as we have been told through state capture kenha a state agency inaenda kujenga barabara on private land ili wewe ujenge your own private city wa kenya waendelee kuwa tenants on your land your excellency i want to ask you do not relent never relent on the endeavor to ensure that the housing agenda becomes a reality those who are ahead of you cut us your state capture sabotage that program so that they benefit themselves and their families your excellency you are now the architect of that third dispensation of our country to ensure that we have social and economic justice to all kenyans that all kenyans can access affordable housing young kenyans can access jobs huyo senator medho your excellency unakumbuka na amesema vizuri na ni vizuri sababu ni kijana husikiza huyu senator wetu unakumbuka wakati tulitembea hapa mara kadhaa tukiomba kura mkiwa na naibu wa rais siku moja amesimama juu ya gari akiongea ukaniambia mkiwa na mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagua tafuta huyu kijana atoke kwenye yako akuja UDA wakiwa na mheshimiwa Karongo Adhango and when i spoke to both of them your excellency i can confirm sababu Karongo alikuwa secretary general akiwa na cheo kubwa kidogo pale kwa hiyo chama huyu <laughs> medho ndiye alikuwa wa kwanza kuniambia enda uambie rais mimi sababu hata mzee alikuwa ameniambia the same thing mimi nimehama na nitaongea na Karongo tuhame pamoja na wakahama wakaingia UDA and that is why Uh, with god's blessings the people of nyandarwa elected him as senator hapa na karongo kama senator wa nyandarwa wa, wa kiambu mheshimiwa rais nimesema hivyo sababu ulisaidia huyu senator medho na karongo kama vijana wawili wachanga wakapata kazi kama ma senator but the bigger challenge 
in our country today is millions of young people, their age and below, who have no jobs. Those jobs can only be guaranteed if we actualize that housing agenda and all the programs, even those of manufacturing and industry, as Waziri has said, if they become a reality. I want to encourage you, do not relent, do not lose your focus on your agenda. How are you akelele wewe to achie? Mimi tukiwa na dindi nyoro na wale wengine na seneta medho tutapambana na wao. Na tutamalizana wewe uendele na kazi ya kujenga hiyo barabara ya hive. Uendele na kazi ya kipes na hili ingine yote ambayo umepangia watu including universal health coverage. Raisu kumbuke tulitangazia wa Kenya kutoka januari hii. Kenyans will be able to pay 300 shillings kwa NHIF. Leo ni January tarehe mbili, Kenyans cannot do that. Sababu wachache wameenda kotini kuzuia huo mpango. And I said, Your Excellency, the other day, we shall not, and I speak that now as a leader of majority in the National Assembly, and I know the Speaker Senate is here. We shall not allow, because we have seen a judge even purporting to inject Parliament from carrying out public participation, which is a constitutional requirement. Your Excellency, as we have said before, we shall not allow both or either judicial autocracy or executive autocracy in this country, Your Excellency. And we say that as a people's representatives. It is a constitutional duty of Parliament to carry out public participation. Therefore, Your Excellency, as we keep saying, when we are checking on you and your government to make sure there is no executive autocracy, we shall also check on the judiciary to ensure there is no judicial autocracy. Nikimalizi, Your Excellency, nimesema leo tunampumzisha mzee hapa. Watu wa Meru, Your Excellency, unajua wako na kijana Rika ya Senator wetu Medho, kijana alikuwa na itua Sniper, who was a social media activist or a blogger. Mwenye aliwawa. And Your Excellency, because we have said you are the dispensation, the third dispensation of our republic that you are leading today is to ensure social and economic justice. Your Excellency, Nafurahi DCI wanafanya juhudi kuhakikisha that those who killed that young man in Meru County are brought to justice. And I want to take this opportunity to also ask, because we have laid to rest Mze Michael today. The family of Sniper in Meru are yet to lay, lay him to rest, awaiting justice. We want to ask both DCI and the office of the DPP to expedite the investigations and ensure that those who killed that young man are brought to justice and charged before court because your excellency as you promised when you were sworn in the era of political persecution and executions must be behind us in our republic we must have a country where the rule of law and justice and the uh, are the order of the day rather than the exception with those many remarks acha nikome hapo na kwa heshima sana Ni muulize speaker wetu wa Senate, ambaye ni uh, mweshimiwa Amazon Jeff Kingi, ambaye ndi speaker wa Karongo. Atuambia kama ni ukweli, hiyo imesemekana Karongo ni mtiifu, yule uwa na mharibu kidogo ni Karongo, tujue kama ni ukweli. Na nikimalizio your excellency, allow me also to convey to the family the condolences of the speaker of the National Assembly, who is a very good friend of Senator Medho, uh, Speaker Moses Wetangula, and also convey the condolences of the leader of the majority uh, of the Senate, uh, Senator Aaron Cheruyot, who, who is not with us today, is out of the country, and also the Chief Whip of the Senate, uh, Whip uh, Boni Halwale. Walinituma, nitpeane rambirambizao, kwako Senator Medho na familia enyu. Asante. Mwishimu wa Speaker wa Senate.